Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Okay, then don't have the drink. You don't need to have it. Oh god, oh god. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is the first time you've clicked on my video, thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys my office transformation, which is amazing and I love it. I'm also gonna be sharing with you about Autumn's period and how it's been with the mood swings and all the other wonderful stuff that comes with it, especially because she's nonverbal and she can't tell us how she feels and I'm sure she feels very frustrated. So please stay tuned. I'm so excited because a lot of my packages from Amazon just came and it's all stuff for the den. Almost can finish it, but I have another thing that I'm waiting for, which is the rug but I'm gonna show you, I'm excited. Okay, so like you get things on Amazon and then sometimes they don't, aren't anything like they are in the picture and these I'm gonna return because the color is not even close to what I thought it was gonna be from the description. So I'm returning that. I ordered some spray paint, which I will use. I'm gonna spray tape paint some stuff gold. I got some more pictures to print on my printer so I can put them in frames for that. And then I got Oh, those two things are just for the bedroom. They're like these really cool things though. They're covers for your box spring. I saw that on Amazon. I was like, that is awesome. So this is for mine. This is gray and I got one for Andy's. And I got some face disposable face masks because you know, we need them. <laughs> so I have a couple of things I'm going to paint today. I wanted to paint all the black stuff gold, but I have to cover up the wood part first. But yeah, I got spray paint and I'm gonna spray it gold. The only thing that's not looking how I want is that tray, but the lamp looks good and this looks good, the rolling cart. And I also spray painted this to test it out and it came out really good. So yeah, only disappointed with the tray, but it might look okay, I don't know. I highly, highly, highly recommend this spray paint. It works really good and it doesn't drip. It's really, really good. I love okay, it. So after I painted that gold, I decided I wanted to paint the top white. And so I'm using this to paint the top white and I've covered up around the edge and I think I need to put more tape on the bottom. More stuff today for my office and I also got Autumn's mask. I ordered her a mask for a trip because we're going to take a trip to Palm Springs and it's Spongebob so hopefully she'll wear it. It's supposed to be nice and soft. And this matte thing, I ordered one already and then I had to order another one because they're so awesome. But this is for my um, computer, so I'm excited about that. But this thing is awesome. I'm gonna show you guys right now because it's like the coolest thing okay, ever. Okay, so like I was showing you guys that mat, that's the mat. And I got one for this side too because it's supposed to protect your desk. And I really like it. So I'm hoping this works too. Um, Tom got me this used laptop for Christmas and like the edge on it was already kind of broken because it's used. And um, let me show you. So that's why I wanted to buy the case for it. Cause like the edge is like kind of messed up right there. Cause like I said, it's used. So I'm gonna put the cover on it and hopefully protect I it. I really love the cover. It's so cute. And it also goes with my mouth, so I'm happy. But anyway, as you can see, I'm kind of going with the pink theme. This is the mat that I'm gonna put on this side. Like I said, it's the same as that side. 
and I love it. And I got it on Amazon, and it's so cool because you can like put drinks on this, you can put a mouse on this, so you don't need a mouse pad, and it's really, really awesome. I picked up these white picture frames on Amazon. I wanted something that would hold three pictures. These are my competition pictures from one of my bikini competitions, and I had three pictures that I wanted to put in there, so. Really happy with how this turned out, and I actually made two more from my other competitions that I was in. So that one on the left is actually from my second competition, the one on the right is from my third, and the very top right there is from my first competition. Can I tell you guys how excited I am? Because my chair came today, and it wasn't supposed to come until like August 13th or something, and it came today. I'm so excited. I didn't realize that it was this brand. Crazy. It's like the Walmart brand, isn't it? Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. It's so soft. It's like fuzzy. I'm excited. Woo. You guys, my final touches to my room have arrived. I'm pretty sure that's my pillowcases. I'll open it up and I'll find out, but this is obviously my rug and I'm so, 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 so excited. So it obviously needs time to like completely flatten out, but I love it. And then the pillows can too. Oh, they're pillowcases, cause I like to get the pillowcases so that I can wash them. And then I buy the inserts separate, so. And I bought that blanket too a while ago. So it's all coming together. I love it. So I showed you guys earlier how I painted this gold and I do need to put another coat on it, but I actually do like it. I do like it. I used to sell Southern Living at Home stuff, and this is actually a Southern Living at Home tray, and it's really nice to like change it up because I do love it, but I was just getting sick of the color, and it's so pretty. So the last final touches is I'm gonna paint a couple things pink because I wanna add some more pink accents, and then on the very top, I'm gonna add some command hooks, and I'm gonna put some lights up there. So I bought these plants at Smart Final, and I'm going to paint them pink. And I'm actually gonna cut off the string too, and paint them pink. this letter and I'm going to paint it white first to um, prime it and then I'm going to paint it pink. I'm going to do the same with that frame. It used to be like a brown color so I spray painted it white. Let's do this. Okay so I painted this pink. Say hi Joe. Hello. <laughs> I obviously painted the plant things. I'm also going to paint this candle thing I got at the Dollar Tree pink, trying to add some more pink accents on my shelf. I want to give you guys a pro tip when you're decorating, you always shop your house for things and look for things in your house. And I had that and I never put it up and I'm like, I'm gonna put it in here. It's gonna go perfect above the computer. I found this mirror in my garage. I had it for a long time, but I didn't know what to do with it. So I cleaned it up really good and I'm gonna spray paint it. And I'm gonna use it in the room.
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Okay, then don't have the drink. You don't need to have it. Oh god, oh I understand you're frustrated, but I don't know what you need and what you want. So you do want the drink. Well, you seem better now. Good job. Mwah. I love you. Sorry you're frustrated. <laughs> All right, guys. Are you ready for the final reveal of the beautiful office? It's so awesome. I'm going to show you. You won't believe it. Look at how cute it is. Look at my rug. I love the rug. I love my new pillows. I actually love the mirror they painted. It turned out really, really good. I also got that pink blanket on Amazon. Okay, so my favorite thing of all is this cart. And I don't know if you guys knew what I was like putting, why I was making this cart, but it used to be one of those kitchen carts from Walmart. And it was like black and that top part was like a wooden color. And so I painted it to be the same color as the desk because I wanted to put my Cricut on here. Something else I wanted to add, because I know somebody's going to comment about it. I wanted the pink Cricut. I did. And I looked all over for one. And I couldn't find it anywhere in any city. And the only color they had was purple. And that's why I got purple. Because obviously, I would have gotten pink. <laughs> I like wrap the cord right there. And I can keep it right here in this little spot. And I love, love, love these mats. You guys, I highly recommend these mats. They are awesome. And then we'll like, obviously I don't have to worry about my drinks ruining the table because this is like the barrier. I love all the little pink accents that I added. I painted those pink, painted that pink, painted that pink. Just a couple little pops of pink, not too much crazy pink. I shopped my house for some more things. I found this butterfly and I put that there. And I found this thing that Autumn made at school that's pink. And just a couple other things that I found around the house, but Obviously, it turned out really good. I added that picture. I probably wanna add some more things on the walls. I don't know, like over there, maybe, but I love the rug, you guys. I will definitely put in the description all the stuff that I got from Amazon and stuff. I, got, I mostly got everything on, um, from Amazon, even the paint. So yeah, and I love my chair and I got that on Amazon. It's so soft and I love how the bottom is gold. I actually got this on Amazon too. I was telling you guys before I had like, this is used and um, it has a little spot right here. So I didn't want to get more ruined. So that's why I got the cover. And I painted this, you guys seen that in the video that I painted, or that was in the same video actually. That used to be black and I painted it gold. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Really, really happy. My husband says it's so nice in here now that he doesn't even want to come in here. He'd rather go out into the gym and <laughs> watch TV there. So yeah, I love it. Hey Autumn, we're gonna go vacation tomorrow, okay? Okay. You gonna be a good girl? Go. Hey? Hey. You feel better than you did earlier? Go. Yes? Hey. Good. Mwah. I love you. Go. What you watching? SpongeBob? 
Oh, God. <laughs> you want me to leave you alone? Hey. Oh, God. Do you want me to go bye bye? Hey. Hey. Okay. Bye. Mwah. Oh. Show mommy. You can do it. Good job. Put it all the way over your head. There you go. Now just cover up your mouth. Show me how you cover up your mouth. Remember? Like that, yeah. <laughs> Here, just like this. <laughs> Can you show me? Can you show me? Can you show me? <laughs> and then you can have kids pop. Just put it in your mouth like this, over your nose. There we go, go, go. Cause, we'll, Cause when we go to Palm Springs and we get, we get date shakes, we gotta have it. Show mommy. Just, there you go. Good job. High five. Blow it up. Woohoo, Autumn. <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> you are happy? You're doing a good job wearing it. I'm proud of you. Yay. Yay, Autumn. Do you want music now? Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> say music. Show mommy. <laughs> Show me the sign. Say music. <laughs> Please. Alexa, play Kids Bop. Good job. Yeah. Proud of you. Mwah. So as you guys can see, I love, love, love how my office turned out. I still wanna add a couple more things like some lights and a couple other things, but I absolutely love the little pops of pink and the gold and how I got it all to work. It turned out really, really awesome. Um, the main thing I want to talk about today was Autumn's period and how it's been very consistent the last year. And uh, <laughs> if you have a teenager at home or if you are a teenager, the struggle is real, especially because she can't talk and she can't tell us how she feels. I mean, some of the stuff she doesn't have to tell us how she feels. We can just tell. <laughs> She definitely has issues when her period's about to start where she has really bad mood swings and she's very hungry and she's very irritable. She's already irritable anyway, but now it's like a thousand times worse. And definitely she's very ticklish because like we have to give her a bath. She can't do it by herself. And so we've noticed that she's a lot more ticklish when her period's about to start. So we always have those little indicators where we know it's coming and we'll be prepared for it. Um, she's still in diapers during her period and she struggles with it big time, you guys. Like, I wish she could understand what's going on. We've explained it to her many, many, many times, but she does not understand. Um, we just keep telling her every time it comes, this is your woman time. This is your woman time. You need to keep a diaper on because she keeps going upstairs and putting on underwear. She does not understand what is this. She's looking at it like, I don't get it. So we just keep telling her over and over and eventually she'll learn the routine of it and she'll do it, but it's been a while and she still doesn't really get it. And she always wants to put on underwear and it's very hard because she'll make a mess everywhere and she doesn't understand. And so we've been really struggling with this and <laughs> oh, it's hard to stay positive on things like this because I don't have any control over it and she doesn't have any control over it and we're just doing the best we can. And I know there's a lot of people out there in the similar situation with their special needs kiddos that are nonverbal and don't under, quite understand what their period is. And it can be challenging to say the least. So like I said, we just keep telling her over and over and over to put the diaper on, keep a diaper on. It's your woman time, it's your woman time, it's your woman time. And it's, it's still very hard, especially when she makes a mess and she needs help in the bathroom with it because it's very messy and it's very confusing to her. And it, she's already struggling with going to the restroom anyways. And she's she is an underwear most of the time, but then she has a lot of accidents when she gets really upset. And she it's like when we go on vacation or when we go anywhere and we're in the car for long periods of time, she won't tell us that she needs to go and then have an accident. And it's like, it's frustrating. She understands that this is potty, but like she, still has accidents a lot. As I shared the little clip with you guys when I went into her bedroom, that's another thing. She really doesn't like to be bugged. She doesn't want to be bugged. She doesn't want to cuddle or snuggle or really. She'll every once in a while she'll want to, but she wants to be by herself in her room with her iPad 
just like her brother really i mean that's the one thing that's like she's exactly like a teen she wants to be by herself she doesn't want mom bugging her she doesn't want dad bugging her she doesn't want brother bugging her especially joe <laughs> she'll tolerate andy more than she'll tolerate joe but she's like that's my little brother she, you can tell she's like no <laughs> so whenever i go in her room she acts frustrated she acts annoyed She's like, oh my God, leave me alone, mom. Like, come on now. <laughs> and even though she can't tell me, I can just tell, you know what I mean? Like when I went in there, I was like, we're gonna go on vacation tomorrow. And I'm trying to prime her. I talk about this a lot. She doesn't like change. She doesn't like anything out of the routine. So if we go somewhere, if we're gonna do something new, we have to prime her ahead of time. We have to tell her, we're gonna go to this place. So prepare yourself. Cause we've been telling her she has to wear a mask. And it's been a real struggle trying to get her to wear the mask. And I showed that clip with you guys of her actually putting on the mask and try, trying to keep it on for like at least 20 seconds and then being like praising her. Oh my God, good job, good job, good job. We got her the kind that like goes over her head and then like you lift it up over your nose and your mouth. And it's it's more like a ski mask or something, something similar to that. Um, but it's been really hard. And like children with special needs are obviously exempt from wearing masks but she is so vulnerable that we want her to learn she needs to wear it like everybody else because it's important that she wears it she needs to protect herself so yeah it's been a struggle and puberty is hard it's already hard when you have a typical teen now it's like 50 times harder with a special needs kiddo and i know it's frustrating for her obviously it's frustrating for us but it's really frustrating for her because she doesn't even understand what's going on and she's making this mess and she's moody and she's frustrated and she doesn't understand like really what this all is. And it's heartbreaking sometimes. And I just, I try not to focus on the negative things cause what's that gonna do? Focusing on the negative things isn't gonna be productive. So I just try to focus on the things I can control, the things that she can control and just try to be positive and try to just get through it. That's all we can do. And eventually, I mean, we did talk to the doctor. I remember I had another episode about we went to the OBGYN and she said once her period is regular, maybe we can get her on the birth control. So we're still thinking about that. They do have a chewable birth control because she will not swallow pills. So I just don't want her to gain a bunch of weight and have even more issues. So I struggled a lot with birth control. It giving me really bad mood swings and really bad cravings and really bad skin and all this other stuff. So I don't want that to happen to her and also gaining 10 pounds. So it's like, I personally had such an issue with it that I want that to be the very, very last resort for Autumn. I don't want to like put it on her unless it's to the point where we can't manage it. So I know I got that question a lot before about depo shot too. Depo shot's not an option. I do not want to do depo shot because of all the terrible side effects. And that was the other option. So I, I would, if, if, if we can't manage it, we are gonna do the chewable one, and we, the low dose one that I talked to the doctor about. So that was a question I got from before. And if you guys haven't seen that first video, I'll, I'll link it up here so you guys can watch it. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, head over to my TikTok, head over to my Instagram. You can send me an email. I have a new email address. My old email address is no longer working. So it's fitmomodd1981 at Gmail, and I'll put it in the description. Um, you guys already know my TikTok and my Instagram, but I'll also put it down here so you guys can see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, especially of our Palm Springs vacation. We are going to take a little vacation away. We are going to social distance. We are going to do all the, all the things. So don't worry. <laughs> Stay tuned.